Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at School AI. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. So School AI is a free tool. Uh, there is a paid version, but uh, I'll be demonstrating the free version that allows your students to have a safe uh, monitored interaction with AI learning activities. And that's that's a concern sometimes. You know, a lot of AI tools are age limited. You need to be 13 and above, or even if you are the proper age, schools may have some guidelines, understandably, on which AI tools are being used. Um, and so how can we use AI, not just to save us time, but how can we use it with our students? Well, that's the idea of school AI. Here's the quick gist of it. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the website and set up a free account for yourself. And then you're going to pick from either a pre-made AI experience or you can create one of your own. And we'll talk about what those experiences are. You then give a invite link to your students so that they can join that activity. They do not sign in. They do not get accounts and nothing like that. Uh, once they join that activity, then they can engage with the AI. They can uh, chat with it on whatever topic it was you chose. And all along the, the while, it is showing you every conversation. So you as the teacher, you can see everything your students are typing in. You can see everything that the AI is responding. Uh, so it's all in one place for you to monitor. And then at the end, the AI summarizes the entire class discussion. So you know what are the areas where the students might still need help. What are they understanding? Uh, it gives you wonderful feedback. Um, so let's do this. Let's head on over to the site um, and we will take a look at what this looks like. So um, here I am already logged into my account and under the spaces tab, you can see some of the sessions I've run in the past. I've been uh, playing around with this and trying this out with a lot of teachers, but let's say that I wanted to um, launch a new experience for my students. So again, I would sign into the website and I'd probably go to the, the discover tab because that's where I can see a lot of the pre-made experiences that are out here. So what sort of things can you do with this? So there's some really common popular things such as chatting with a historical figure. I can come here and click on that link and I will see loads and loads and loads of historical figures. We've got Abraham Lincoln here and we've got Charlie Chaplin and Cleopatra and uh, Leonardo da Vinci and on down the line here. Uh, lots of uh, uh, people I can have my students chat with. Um, or let's go back and see what other options we have. We can do uh, careers. We can chat with folks who are um, supposed to be in a particular career, such as uh, um, directing a movie or working with robotics or a fashion designer. Or let's go back and see another category, diving into popular books. So we can have a chat about a book that we're reading. And they've got a wide range of books that have already been loaded into here, whether it's for younger students or older students as well. Now, with each one of those three, there's a bunch of pre-made ones. Well, if you can't find the historical figure that your students are studying or a career they're interested in or a book that you're reading, that's okay because you don't have to go with the pre-made ones. You can go down below. It says build your own. So you could build your own historic figure chat bot or book explorer uh, or your career exploration chat bot. So like if I went to historical figure chat bot, I could type in the historical figure that I want. And of course, I could add some more options as well. I could describe my class. I could give some custom instructions, let it know, hey, this is a fifth grade class and we're focusing on a particular you know, topic at the moment. And um, then I could put in who that historical figure is going to be. So the nice thing is, if you can't find something here that's already pre-made, no worries. Put in the book you, your students are reading, or put in the career, or put in the historical figure that they are studying. Now, outside of that, there's lots of other options here. You can create a bell ringer activity or an exit ticket so you can start or end the class. Uh, again, in each one of those, you're going to be um, guiding that a little bit more. It's going to ask you to put in the topics. You could say, we are currently studying the water cycle, for example. And then again, I could say, you know, what grade this is? Is there anything specific? I want to ask the students, describe my class, give some directions. And this is going to basically be building a custom AI chat bot that the students can all chat with 
for a bell ringer or an exit ticket activity. There's even just a very open-ended general chatbot called Sidekick, where basically you can tell it whatever you want it to be. You can say, okay, this is what I want uh, the Sidekick uh, to do, and here's the options. Um, I, we did this with uh, one of the uh, teacher groups I was working with. Their students were studying limericks. And so we're like, okay, this is great. You know, Our, our students are currently learning about limericks, so that is the topic. Uh, they're struggling with rhyming, and so that's that's what you need to know about the students and their grade level, and I want you to help them to write a limerick. And it built a limerick builder, <laughs> you know, a chat bot. Uh, so it's really amazing how much um, variety you have here as far as what the chat bots can be. Uh, so the idea is we're going to pick one of these. So just to keep it simple for right now, I'm just going to go with a pre-made one. I'll say, let's go to books. And let's say we just use Charlotte's Web. I've used that one with a couple examples before, so I'll just use Charlotte's Web again. Now, if I want to, again, I can put in some more uh, options here. There's a particular focus that we're working on. For class description, I'll say maybe my students are in fifth grade. But again, I could give custom instructions if there's a certain thing I really want the AI to focus on. Now, before I launch this, there is a start preview button over here. I can give a click on that, and that just lets me be able to see what's the type of interaction we're going to see here. So in this case, you'll see the AI is saying, have you ever imagined what it would be like to have a friend like Charlotte from Charlotte's Web? Uh, now, I'm not saying you're going to get that exact question when the students go into it, but it's just showing you that's the kind of interaction that you might get. Please do note there is a speak button. It can read this aloud. So especially if you're working with younger students, they can click the speak button and the AI's text will be read aloud to them. There's also when they type in their message, there's a little microphone button. So if they're having a hard time typing themselves, they can click that microphone button and they can speak their response in there as well. Well, let's say all that's good and we're happy with that. We think that's great. That's when we click on the launch button. So when I click on launch, what it's gonna do is give me a link and a QR code as well, but I'm just gonna copy the link here. And basically that's what you need to get to the students. You need to give them the link to be able to access it. So if you use Google Classroom, this would be a wonderful way to do that. Just drop the link into your stream uh, or whatever. If you've got a class website, if you've got a shared document that you use as a bell ringer document for your students, if you use Schoology or Canvas or whatever it might be, the idea is to get the link out to the students. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me, um, I'll open up an incognito window so that I'm not logged in and I'll put that in. And you'll notice it basically just asks for my name. And so I'll just put in my name real quick and I'll hit join. And that's it. So the students are not creating an account. They're not signing up. Uh, they don't have to reveal anything like that. And so there we go. Now I would be chatting with the AI here. It's saying, imagine you could talk to animals like Fern does in Charlotte's Web. What would you ask them, you know? And so, you know, now at this point, I would begin my uh, communication with the, uh, with the AI. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just show you the end result of what one of these might look like. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that and tell you what, let me end that session. And I'm just going to go over to one of my earlier ones I did on Charlotte's Web. I'll just grab, and again, this was not with real students. This was me pretending to be students. So I'm not revealing any actual conversations here. I was just testing this one out myself. So what happens is, while this is, chat is going on, you as the teacher can go and you can click on any one of your students and you can read all of the conversations. You can see what the, AI, what the AI has asked. You can see what the students have responded. And so for each student, I can go in and see that full conversation. And then I can also get insights. The AI will uh, pop up certain things that it is noticing and it will give me an overall summary for the class. Again, this one was pretty quick. I only had, you know, three pretend students, but when you get 25 students in there doing a lot of chatting, you will get lots and lots of great insights on what they might be confused about, where they're interested, where they're doing well. Uh, so it's just ideas for how you can help connect with your students better. Now, all that sounds pretty awesome, right? You may say, wow, you know, how much does that cost? So again, everything I share, you know, I hope, and you know, everything I share is always free resources. Typically there's, you know, maybe a, a paid version, but there's always a nice robust uh, free option. And that is the same here. So basically the free tool, 
gives you everything I just showed you there, those teacher tools, all those different spaces, be able to create your own or use the ones that already exist. And basically what it does is it limits on how many um, sessions you can have running throughout the day. Um, and uh, the way that it's set up, um, you'll see if I go back into my uh, spaces here and if I go ahead and say that I want to create a new space, you'll notice that it already has made a quick change here, it is saying my free participant limit. It now says one out of 150. That's because I did one interaction when I joined just a minute ago as a pretend student. I used up one of the 150. 50 interactions uh, per day. So what that means is you could have 150 students connecting to one of these experiences and having as many chats as they want with it. So it's not, you know, it, they, they can go, they can answer as many questions as they want. That only counts as one connection, one, one interaction. So if you have, you know, maybe a middle school, a high school where you have 125 students or so, you're in good shape. You could create one of these activities and all 125 plus of your students could join at some point throughout the day and have a long lengthy chat with the chat bot and you'd be fine. If you do elementary and you only have, let's say, maybe 25 or 30 students that you see all day, the same students, you could do multiple uh, activities. You could do a bell ringer and then you could do something at the end. You could do a chat with a historical figure. The idea is each time a student joins a new chat, that is a session. So that's really great. Now, if you did want, you certainly could, um, you know, uh, move up to the pro version. Uh, looks like it's about $15 a month there, which gives you, you know, way more ability to uh, have, you know, a, a lot more students chatting throughout the day. But the free version, I think, is very generous. And honestly, this is a wonderful way, a wonderful way. If you say, I want to use AI in my classroom right now, but I, I'm not sure. I don't know where to be Again, this is a great tool for that because, again, it is a safe, monitored environment where students of any age are able to chat with an AI that you have uh, tailored to the needs of your classroom and you can monitor all of those conversations as well. So that is School AI. Uh, big, big shout out to them. Uh, so happy to be able uh, to share that resource with you guys. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.